Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This time we got something really special for you. We have a playable demo for you to play. The very first version was actually released 14 days ago, but I couldn't make a video about it because I want to re-implement my systems so the scene is not that empty. So how do you get it? Easy as cake. Go to the official website, that's linked in the description. On the top right hand corner there's a button called download demo. Click it, read the disclaimer and click the download button. Unpack the file with a program of your choice, I use 7-zip. It's completely free and very easy to use. You'll find a changelog file that lists all changes made to the game, a readme file that contains data about how to play for example, and some other basic information. And of course ethos.exe. With that you can play right away and ethosstarter.batch. The following step is completely optional. Open ethosstarter with the text editor of your choice. I use Notepad++, which is also free, but you can use the standard editor on Windows for example, but you don't have syntax highlighting. Change the marked path to a path of your choice. This determines the output path of the game log. If you encounter a bug or break something, the log will collect data about the problem and write it into that file. If you want to submit a bug, it would be really helpful if you attach that file. It does contain some basic data about your PC, like processor or amount of memory, but no sensitive information whatsoever. If my function for picking up miracles, for example, breaks, the log will contain programming data, so to say, about the execution of that particular function. Normally, the path is well hidden, but this quick change allows you to modify the path. Just make sure the directory points to a file called something.log, even if it didn't exist. The default is c temp ethos player log log. Enough of that. Let's jump right into the game. When you start the game, you are presented with that little intro scene. You can start right away by clicking start demo, or you could go into the advanced options. So this is basically a really ugly list of some internal variables that you can actually change. If you don't know what something means, you can click the little question mark right next to it, and it gives you a little explanation so to say. Some values are really specific so you have to be careful but for example throw force I already set it to 100 normally it is 10 or 20 but 100 will do. If you modified anything you can save the options and that will save it to your documents slash ethos slash I think it was called advanced options dot binary and yeah you can then click on the play demo button and you are presented with our little demo scene. For example, I put the throw force really high, so if I pick up a boulder and throw it slightly, you see it gets accelerated very quickly. So yeah, you can play around with these settings if you are not satisfied with the standard values. It's basically like normal tweaking for games. Some options will later be in the normal options, but for example, throw force, will always be in the advanced options because that is something that like it can really change the behavior of the game for example even in balancing aspects if you could throw boulders across the map that would be <laughs> that would be cool but it could yeah it could break the balancing so but yeah i will leave it in because some people may like high throw forces so you can explore the island there are some resource piles that I implemented, some more boulders, where I tested the stuff with, some other things, you can go around and explore everything, even some miracle dispensers for the fireball miracle and the waterball miracle, more miracles are definitely coming, but yeah, just go around, I know it doesn't look that promising so far, but most things are already working quite well, so yeah, have fun. Let me know what you think of it. If you encounter the bugs, please report them to... I gave instructions to the description box, so check it out. And yeah, have fun! Bye!